Yeah, boot tree. This <laughs> boot tree is hilarious. That was great. Okay. What I'm over here for is this thing. This, I used some of the parts to build my lumber mill thing over there. And it's kind of just become the spot that we stick machetes and tools and stuff. But then I went and found this. I have a stack of these, several of them. And I think what I'm going to do is get the motor out of here, get all the extra pieces off, and screw or somehow attach three of these or four onto the top and make it like a super heavy-duty steel table for, you know, smashing and stuff like that. All right, thing, did I grab the right size? Yep, wait, yep, looks longer. For my later reference, let's see what this motor is. I don't remember. Oh, it's a little... Speed, uh, I can't read that very well. Where's the horsepower is one and a half, volts is 110 or 220, depending on your wire. Oh, RPMs, 1725. Amps is 16 at 115 volts, or 8 at 230. All right, that's all the relevant information I really care about. Okay, now the question is, how much do I want to clean this thing up? I'll grind down some of these little weld spots just so I can have a flat surface to put the top on. Now the bottom's in pretty good shape. Maybe I won't do anything to it. This thing's been through hell already and it's still in good shape. So, I think I shouldn't mess with it. Other than grinding off these welding things. Yeah, that's about it. In case anyone's wondering what all that noise is, my kids are having scooter races around the house, which I can't show because most of them are naked. I do think it's kind of silly that like naked two-year-olds are like offensive to people now. It's so weird. That's pretty good. Here. Oh, that's not the right size. I need the bigger one. Where's the bigger ones? Yeah, that's the ones I need. Ah, great. I only have two of the bigger ones. Because I used a bunch of those to make this ridiculous shelf thing. Yeah. Oh, do I want to steal them off? I, I could steal one off here. I don't know. I'll just figure something else out. I kind of like my shelf thing. What are you guys doing? Don't hurt them. At the moment, I'm not sure exactly how I'm going to use this table, so I'm kind of just guessing at where I should put some holes and screw some things on.
But at the moment, I'm going to have heads of bolts sticking up. But, you know, if in the future I decide I need them to be recessed, I can do that. And I'm thinking I'll just put a piece here and a piece there. This one's flush with the edge so I can get a 90 degree edge if I want to bend something or whatever. And then this one will overhang so that if I want to bend something around a corner or something, then I can do it at that end. Yeah, I don't know. I'm just, I'm probably going to end up changing this when I actually use it for something. Be able to use the ratchet. Like go backwards. Yeah. Now should I switch? And just just keep going until it's kind of hard. It's really hard. Oh right, yeah. Now. now switch to the other end and just uh, give it a extra pull and make sure it's on there tight. Okay, like that, and make sure your hand isn't against any metal. Okay, go for it. All right, let me. <laughs> let me do one more. Just make sure it's good. That should be good. Can I don't I do think I'm going to screw that down. I think that's good. And yeah, I can think of a. I want to have a space in the middle because sometimes I need to hammer stuff with a. Yeah. I don't know, I'm going to see how this goes. I'm going to use the table just like this for a while. And I'm sure when I'm using it for something, I'm going to drill new holes and make changes and stuff. But uh, this will be useful for a lot of different things. So that's good. Hmm, nice table. I guess we should put it in the workshop. So you guys want to see if you can drag that to the, uh, the workshop and area over there? Yeah. You can't even budget? <laughs> there you go. You know, a cool thing about this is if you drag it on the concrete floor, it knocks off any high spots, makes the floor a little a little flatter, a little more comfortable. Like right here there was a there was a high spot and it just ground it down, just dragging it over. Really? That's it? Come on, Aurora, you can move this thing. Karkin, go help her. There she's getting she's getting stronger as we speak. Here, Eritrea, move your feet, move your feet. All right, it's about 20 or 30 minutes from now, should be in the workshop. And then, uh, I guess in future videos, you probably see me banging stuff on it. Or, or I says it won't be, won't be 20 minutes. Oh, now they're getting going. <laughs> Dude, this is, this is your exercise. We're gonna have to do, do this like every day, one lap around the house. Smoothing out the floor and working your muscles. Oh, I just realized this is also my drill table. Anytime I'm drilling through something and I need to go through and I don't want to drill in my holes in my desk, I'll just put it either here or over one of these holes and make sure I drill where the hole is. Oh, so many uses for this thing. Oh, it's also got sticky outy poles. And I'm always needing sticky outy poles to like put something over and then hammer it. Yeah, this is gonna be good. What are you yelling at me? You want some raisins? Yeah. We don't have enough for you to have any trash. Mm.